Hello there, my name's John Mendez and this is one of our how-to videos with motorboat and yachting. One of my personal things that I find I struggle with nowadays is seamanship and looking after ropes and how to put them away when we're done with them. And quite often now you open a locker on the boat and you just see a huge tangled mess of what was rope. And that's the most important thing that we have on the boat for keeping it safe when we tie it up. So we're just gonna do a little bit on what to do and how to make them reasonably looked after. Here we've got two basic types. We've got three strand and we've got some braid on braid in a couple of lengths. We're just going to show you how to coil them. Um, either coil them and finish so we're going to tie them up or coil them and finish so that we're going to put them in a locker. But how to make it so that when you take it out, it's usable. So all I've done is just separate them into three piles and we'll start with this three strand. And this has got a, a ready-made loop spliced in the end of it. So if it's got one of those, I always tend to start with that. And depending if you're left or right-handed, all you really want to do is coil onto your left hand if possible. And the reason for that with free strand is the rope is made with a twist in. So it wants to be rolled in a clockwise direction every time you make a loop. So by that I mean hand open and I use my elbow into the side of me and my arm as a measure. So my arm makes one length. So just roll over and what I'm doing is rolling my hand to put the loop on. One measure one roll, one measure, one roll, one measure, etc. until I get almost to the end. Now I've got a, a nice long bit left. So to finish this off, if I just chuck that in a locker now, it'll become a tangled mess again. So what I want to do is round the back and I use my little finger there just to hold it. Spin round and this time I'm gonna cross over. What that does is it just stops it falling off. Now, if it's just going in a locker for me, after I've done a couple, I can take the end straight through the loop and just pull. So just to poke through, it's fine for just dropping it in a locker if you're gonna be using it the same day. But if you come back to that and the locker's had lots of stuff going in and out of it, it's gonna end up coming undone and you'll end up with a bird's nest. So a better way to finish it and for something a bit more permanent, is to take your end and make a little loop in your finger and push the loop through. So we've got a loop coming through now as opposed to just an end. Flick that loop over the top and then pull tight and you've locked the whole end of the rope really nicely. That can go in the locker, all sorts of things can happen. It will pull out and to use it, we just ease the end flick the top off and your rope's ready to go. Our third option is you might actually want to hang the rope up. I prefer that because it allows it to dry, allows a lot of the salt to evaporate out of it and you end up with a nicer rope to use next time. So a little way to do that is rather than just poke the end through, go for the loop again. So pop the loop through and as the loop appears, instead of putting it over the top, take your loose end and put it through. So we end up with that arrangement where it's held nice and tightly. And now we've got enough to tie it up. So over and under. And there she is tied up. This variety here is what's called a braid on braid. And it's brilliant for mooring because it's got a much harder outer. And that wears better. So if there's any chafe in that, it's much better than free strand. The difficulty is but you can get it in two varieties. Sailors buy this for halyards, which mustn't have any stretch in it. And we want the mooring variety, which does have stretch. So make sure you talk to your rope man, get the right sort. To coil, it's exactly the same process. The little twist at the top is not quite so important, but in reality, just use it in the same technique and you'll get the same effect. Same technique to finish. Little twist across, use up any extra twists. And then depending how you're going to stow it, we'll pop the little loop through, pull up, 
and we can either pop that in a locker or tie it up. So the coiling techniques work great with ropes that are not too long or not too thick but when you get to something like this, this comes off a 60 footer, it all gets a bit heavy and if I try and do this in the same technique, by the time I get to pretty much the fourth one, I'm starting to run out of hand and it's also getting quite heavy. If it's wet, I'd be really struggling. So a better technique is lay it down. So we can just then, it's a bit more involved and a bit more fiddly, but we get the same effect. And that's one way to do it. Obviously you can do all of those, then you just pick the end up and tie it round. And that works fine. But actually, if there's something to hang it on, that for me is the best of all. So I'm just gonna use this nice gate, make my coils pretty much the same. And as you can see, I've got loads of rope just keep going. I would struggle to hold this in my hand. It's of a size where it's physically getting quite difficult. And you can see there the little twist I'm having to still put in, even though it's a braid rope, it's got a little bit of memory in it. Needs a little bit of tidying as we go. There we go. Now when we get to this point, I now need to do exactly the same. I've got to go round the back. So we'll just go round the back there once. At this point, because it's pretty heavy, I'm actually going to pick it up and lay it down onto the deck. And then if I just prop the end up, take my loose end, wiggle it round the back. Make sure it's low enough so we get a cross, cross over. That then locks it in. We'll do one more for luck. And now I can just pop that through and depending what which ending I want I think we'll just do over the top pull nice and tight and there we are safe and sound and that's ready for a locker <laughs> <laughs>